Hey, how's it going? Ian Rhodes here. Uh, little daily blog. I think it's day, day seven, I do believe. Day seven of rebuilding the temple. Um, feeling great. Still fat. But uh, I haven't been juicing exclusively. I've been doing juicing mixed with actual normal food. And uh, hey, Chloe. Hey, John. And out here on the farm, just doing our, uh, finishing up our deck here and uh, about to drive around and go get some posts and stuff. So I thought I'd give you a quick update. Um, there's a lot of human beings out there that don't take responsibility for their shit. And <laughs> I tell you, man, I make mistakes, but I have no problem going, yeah, that was me, I did that, my bad. If, if you're a human being and you're over the age of, of 25, I'd love to say before 25, but we live in Canada and crap, we are spoiled. Um, if you're over the age of 25 and you fuck up, own it. Just just own it. Just say, hey, I did that. That was my bad. <laughs> How can we make this right? Okay? Because when you don't do that, when you screw up, when you hurt another human being, if you hit someone, you punch someone, you sexually abuse someone, you get drunk and you think it's okay to touch someone that didn't want to be touched, whatever the hell it is that you do, if you don't own that, that other person's left holding that bag. Okay? That other human being is left going, what did I do? How did I ask for this? All that crazy crap that goes through the victim's head. It's not their fault. Really. It's it's not. You fucked up, not them. So it's up to you to go, okay. <laughs> Oops. How do we make this right? Even a sorry. It, 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 and as much as that is the least you could possibly do, even a sorry. And uh, hey, that was mine. I own that. That makes a world of difference to someone. Because it takes the crazy out of their head. And then it lets them be a person again, okay? That's imperative. Whether you're a dad, whether you're a son, whether you're a daughter, cousin, uncle, person walking down the street and you happen to, you know, whatever it is, whatever whatever it was that you transgressed. Contractor that didn't fulfill a, a contract on time. Own it, you know? Hey, Bob, sorry, should have made it there, didn't. How can we make this right? Okay, you, you need this. All right, good. Yeah, cool, gotcha, click. Whatever it is. As a transgressor, if you own your mistake, it releases the other person from the, the bondage of, of, am I crazy? Did this, like, did this happen? I, I'm pretty sure, like, my butt is sore. I'm pretty sure that happened. An imperative part. So, in every 12-step program you go through, uh, whether it's Alcoholics Anonymous, Sex Anonymous, or, uh, or Narcotics Anonymous, whatever it is, they will try to put you through the 12-step program. Part of it is uh, reparations, right? Or whether you're United States of America or you're Canada and you killed or put a bunch of people in schools, whatever it is the hell you did, there's reparations to be made. You have to, I'm sorry, you have to, that was my bad, I did that. That's the very first step, okay? And then there's lots of steps after that. First step. All right, now on to the fun part. <laughs> so... I've gone through in my life and I've tried my best to go through it and, and collect as many uh, mistakes that I've made and, and make that up. That's part of rebuilding your temple. Because if you want your body and your mind and your spirit, if you want to free your mind so your ass will follow, you have to have a clear conscience. You have to be able to look in that mirror and say, I like me. Like, yeah, okay, I've, I've got some physical flaws, but I generally like me. And, and <laughs> I'm semi-vain. I look in the mirror, I like what I see. Okay, and that's imperative. As a, as, a, as a human being that, that is striving for, for, uh, uh, for enlightenment and for freedom and for, for peace, it's, it's a great idea to be able to look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, I love me. I like me is good, because liking yourself is good, but I love me. I, I don't mean I, I love me, only on Thursdays, but you have to love yourself. In order to be in a relationship with another human being, like my beautiful wife, I have to love me first, because if I don't love me, there's no way I can love her, because if I don't love myself, I'm going to treat myself crappily and do, and do weird, twisted little games with myself that I will end up doing to her, and that's how you, that's how narcissists run, you know, they, they can't be mean to themselves, so they're mean to their wife, or they're mean to their kid, or they're mean to their husband, or whatever, right, like, I was married to one, Janet was married to one, pretty sure I've been one, um, we've got a family full of them, we all do. We all do. Narcissism is as, is as prevalent as human beings. <laughs> it truly is. 
<coughs> excuse me. But part of being free, part of being happy, part of enjoying life is is, is freedom from obligation. And, and I don't mean obligation like, you know, i got to finish my deck. I mean obligation of like, you know, 4 o'clock in the morning, and I don't want to admit this to myself, but I'm having a hard time falling back asleep because I know it could have been as simple as I left the lights on in the garage at Jimmy's place before I left. Jimmy's gone, and I'm supposed to be looking after his house, and now those lights can be on all weekend. He's not going to know. He's going to shut up. He'll figure it out. Well, January when he gets his lighting bill, right? But now, I'm the only one who knows that. Or it could be as bad as, <sighs> you know, I don't want to admit this to myself, but last weekend when I couldn't find my string. Last weekend when I when I went out with the boys, and I had uh, one or nine Wiggly Pops too many. I'm pretty sure I touched that waitress's butt, and I never told my wife. Damn it. And, and everyone's always going, oh, never, never tell your wife. That's stupid. Oh, no, 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 never. Tell your wife. Tell your wife. Do it. Own it. Uh, <laughs> choose the moment properly. By all freaking means. But do it. Like, apologize to the waitress if, if you're there. It could be huge like that, or it could be tiny like living on Jimmy's lights. Like, we all make mistakes. I, I've got a beautiful daughter, and, and she is consumed by guilt. Because she didn't listen to one of the things that one of the tasks that her mother and I had given her, and, and she feels like, oh, I'm a bad person. I swear to God, when this child walks, deer come up to her and drink out of her hand, like she's an amazing human being. But guilt to her is, is that feeling of guilt that she didn't do something that Janet and I wanted her to do is as deep and as and as harsh to her as it is for someone that has shot someone in the face. Like it's all relative, guys. It's all relative. Okay. Don't belittle yours or others' feelings about something. Like, if you feel horrible about something, it doesn't matter how big or how small it was. You feel horrible about it. Deal with it. Deal with your emotions. Don't sweep them under the carpet. Okay? That's the long way of saying it. And I'm uh, probably winded. i got to get back to a deck, and I should probably shut off my my uh, my giant van behind me. But uh, you all have a great day, and thanks for listening.